Welcome to my April wrap up. I'm gonna start off with some of my review books. And the first is The Ward by Jordana Franco. The Word is a dystopian novel, um, talks about the time after there was a whole last shot, basically a huge tsunami that like got rid of the whole east coast in the states and it talks about how water has become a rarity, basically it's more rare and expensive than diamonds. I had some issues with it but overall I did enjoy it and I gave it three and a half stars and the review is up on my blog. The next book is Sky and Fire by Emmy Leiborn. This is the sequel to Monument 14, which I read last year and I enjoyed a lot, so I had to go and read it. However, if you guys have noticed, this book is pretty short. It's like two 12 pages and I finished it in a couple of hours, but in the end, it was amazing and I gave it four and a half stars. The next book is The Originals by Cat Patrick. If you guys know, this has a different cover, um, a much, much better cover that I really enjoyed, and I really enjoyed this book. This book talks about three girls who are not actually sisters, but are actually clones of an original, and they have to pose as one single person. They divide up the day three-way, and each girl has her own um, a third of the day to go out and pose as Elizabeth. I really enjoyed this novel. It was contemporary with sci-fi, and I gave it four stars. The next book is The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. I know, I know, everyone's dying to read this book. I was dying to read this book and I was pretty excited when I got it in my mail. Um, in the end, this book was pretty awesome. It's more adult than her usual books. Doesn't mean that there's more romance because it's actually not really centered around the romance, but I did give it four stars. The next book is a dystopian slash um, sci-fi book where aliens take over the world. No, it is not the fifth wave, but it is. Icons by Margaret Stowell. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about her because she is a co-author of the Beautiful Creatures series, which ended this year. Or last year, I'm not sure. Icons was, to put it simply, a disappointment. I have a feeling that I'm just not the targeted reader for a Margaret Stowell because I also did not enjoy Beautiful Creatures. So this book had some issues with the pacing, it was very slow and I couldn't get through it. Like I did finish it in the end, but it's 440 pages that could have been reduced to a maximum of 300. And I gave it two stars. Next book now is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. This book is also a sci-fi book where aliens take over the world. Fifth Wave is pretty big, it's like almost 500 pages and it's told from multiple POVs and um, while I had some, I was pretty confused at the beginning with the whole, um, just the thing. I think the author did that on purpose, obviously. And, but I didn't like how confused I was and how I did not trust anyone, but I guess that's what made me enjoy the novel even more. And then overall I gave it four stars. Now moving on to the ebooks. The first book that I read is How Zoe Made Her Dreams Mostly Come True by Sarah Strohmeyer. This book is told in um, where a girl and her cousin, who's her best friend actually, go get a job interning for um, characters in a fairy tale theme park. Um, I really enjoyed the book, but I did have some issues with the whole plot and I gave it three and a half stars. The next book is Nantucket Blue by Leila Holland. As you guys can see from the cover, this book is like all about the beach and the awesomeness and romance and all that, but the girl never even went to the beach once. Yes, I know, I was pretty disappointed because of that because I love the beach and I was expecting a beachy read, but even with that, I really enjoyed the book. Um, the main character, Cricket, was very awesome. I really liked her. I liked how confident she was. I liked how she wasn't bullied like easily because of her supposed best friend. Yes, there is one in this book and I gave it four stars. Next book is Criminal by Tara Elaine McVoy. This book is pretty short. I finished it in like less than a day and it talks about a girl who was, she found herself to be an accessory to a crime her boyfriend committed. And um, this book was so sad, like not crying sad. It's just like this girl is so naive and she's stupid for like going along with him, even though it's obvious he doesn't like her or even love her or anything like that. But um, it's an eye opener and I would really recommend it to people. And I gave it three and a half stars. The next book is How My Summer Turned Up in Flames by Jennifer Salvato Doktorski. This book is full of awesome. It's road trip, so all you road trip fans, put it 
on your Goodreads TBR or whatever or on your soon to buy list because it comes out on May 7th, so six days left. It talks about a girl who gets a restraining order, a temporary restraining order, um, that her boyfriend's mother actually took out on her because she burned her boyfriend's ex-boyfriend's car. Yeah, that's what she did. So she takes a road trip with her neighbor and his friends and it was awesome. I really enjoyed it and I gave it four and a half stars. The next book is Levitating Las Vegas by Jennifer Eccles. You guys all know I'm a huge Jennifer Eccles fan, at least her contemporary books, but this book was disappointing. So disappointing. I this book was so weird and in the end I skimmed through the last 60 pages and I'm like, ugh. I think I gave it one star, I'm not even sure. So the next book is The Collector by Victoria Scott. I know, I know, I had to submit to all the crazy hype about Dante and this book. And um, I have to say, I'm just not, I was not sold 100%. This book was good, I really enjoyed it. But I gave it three and a half stars because Dante was way too cocky for my liking. Way too cocky. So three and a half stars. Still enjoyable. The next book is Opal by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the third book in the Lux series and I really like this series and I just finished this a couple of days ago and the ending was so bad. I need the fourth book which is called Origin. I gave it four stars. The next three books are actually part of one series and I know I never do that. I never read like more than one book in a series in a row or like in a single month but I read three and that just shows you guys how much I love the series. The first book is Pure by Jennifer L. Armandjad. I know last year, last year, <laughs> last month or back in November I read Half Blood and I didn't really love it as much as I hoped. And I was like, uh, I'm not going to think about Pure right now, I'm not really in the mood. There's like four books and it's just too much of a hassle for a book that was pretty good but not that great. Then I read Pure and I fell in love. And then after I read Pure, I went and I read Deity by Jennifer L. Armstrong. And then I couldn't take, I couldn't, I couldn't like, I couldn't get enough. And I then I had to go and read Napoleon by Jennifer L. Armitrout. And let me just say, I'm like lost in this world until I get Sentinel. I didn't know I was gonna love this series so much, but honestly, it has become one of my all time favorite series. And I would really recommend anyone who is a fan of the Lex series or just has never read any of Jennifer L. Armitrout's books to try the series out, but to read Half Blood and like not give any judgment when you do that and then start judging after you read pure. That's what I think, because I know you're gonna be hooked by then. The next book is Hide and Seek, The Lion Game Number Four by Sarah Shepard. If you guys have been following my uh, blog, you would know that I actually read the third book a while ago, Two Truths and a Lie, and then I gave it two stars because it was um, a pretty boring book and a pretty repetitive book compared to the first two. Um, however, Hide and Seek was really good. You get to learn a lot of, lot of things and a lot of secrets get unraveled. So I really like this. And I can't wait to get my hands on the fifth and the sixth. Another book that I read is The Book of Broken Hearts by Sarah Ockler. Unfortunately, it seems that the only Sarah Ockler book that I really enjoyed is 20 Boys Summer. But um, I read Bittersweet last year and I didn't enjoy it. But now I read this one and while it was pretty decent, I gave it three or three and a half stars. Um, it wasn't... Wow, it did not wow we, uh, wow we, wow, I can't speak. It did not wow me at all. So uh, yeah, I don't know, it wasn't all that great. Another book that I read that I really, really enjoyed is April Henry's The Girl Who Was Supposed to Die. This book is creepy. Yes, you can tell from the cover. Other than that, um, it talks about a girl who suddenly wakes up and finds herself on the floor of a cabin and um, this guy is telling the other guy to finish her off and basically meaning kill her. So she manages to run away, however she knows nothing about herself because she has amnesia. And the whole novel I was like at the, end, at the edge of my seat and I was like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? And I couldn't put it down. It was that good. And I gave it four and a half stars. The last book, yes, we finally reached the last book, is Burning by Ilana K. Arnold. I know I said 
in the last uh, in my last TBR pile pile the April TBR video that this book has two of my favorite things summer and the beach however I couldn't have been more wrong the only thing this book has is the desert and a lot of the desert the whole book is set in like the desert in Nevada or something and all the characters like throughout the whole book are always either sweaty or uncomfortable or feeling the heat and I was like them I was like oh like oh my god I'm like it's so hot I feel I feel I don't feel comfortable and yeah this book was basically an uncomfortable experience for me so there was also the whole insta love that I did not like because you guys know I'm I'm like a huge anti insta love person and um, towards the end the ending sucked I'm sorry but it really sucked and I gave it two stars because you know I'm like whatever this book is like Ugh. these are all the books that I read all 20 books yes I know I like killed myself this month to finish and read as many books as I could so link me to your own wrap-ups and I'd love to see them and let me know which books you're excited about and that's about it see you guys on my next video bye I love how my phone almost broke.